Hey you guys, Sean with Go Gloves here and in today's video, we're going to Omaha. All right, y'all, so it is currently Sunday evening. I'm watching the Texas and Mississippi State game. We're gonna be leaving early tomorrow morning for Omaha, so I'll capture all of that for you guys. In the meantime, I'm just gonna be packing, so I'll show you guys everything that I'm bringing with me, uh, all my clothes, and I am bringing a glove, just in case I catch something at the stadium. We'll be catching one game on Monday, as well as two games on Tuesday. Uh, and then we'll be there for a little bit in the morning on Wednesday, but we're leaving pretty early. All in all, it's a really quick trip, but I've been wanting to go to Omaha forever, so I'm super excited to go. I'm going with my grandparents as well as my cousin, so if you guys see them in the video, I might introduce them in a little bit. But all together, I'm super excited. This should make for some great content for you guys. It should be an amazing trip for me, so let's get it rolling. All right, y'all, we're here at the game. It's currently one o'clock on Monday. Game one in Stanford in Arizona. Uh, we literally just got here, and then after the game, we're going to the baseball village. This is Tanner. Guys, we got pretty sick seats. Check them out. First time in Omaha, it's pretty lit. It's a lot cooler than Texas, which we appreciated. We're gonna enjoy the game here, and then head out to the, uh, the baseball village after for uh, some shopping and whatnot. Let's finish all there. Batting fourth to third baseman and sophomore number three, Antonio Muller. There you go. I like that side right there. The 1715, that's new, huh? Actually, uh, OG, uh, Oh, it's Ozzy Albies. Okay, I see. Actually, Dustin Pedroia used the Dishon Pass. everyone it's day two of Omaha we just had some breakfast we're headed out to the baseball village we're gonna go check out the shops and everything we'll catch you guys there it's quiet and still <laughs> fun time Okay, college World Series fans, uh, it's definitely time for a chat with you, Dad. This one might be a little bit more um, interesting. You are in front of the nice statue that uh, commemorates the World Series, uh, College World Series, and 
I was here about nine years ago, and I always said, I want to take my grandson. And finally, nine years later, we're here, and they're having a time of their lives. So, uh, any young sports fans, uh, this is a great place to come for uh, you know, parents and grandparents. You would love it. Uh, your, your sons who, for that matter, daughters who love uh, baseball, they would love it here. This is an incredible opportunity. So, have fun and enjoy. bigger field of vision everything uh -huh. is lens so everything's just brighter clearer cleaner so yeah. um, but that's kind of the combo of that and the one you got on is mm -hmm. this one here so it's got that cut out yeah. but it's got that you know no no uh, no uh, yeah. frame and on that's the top. thicker so there's still more like structure up there bingo now so it's got that rigid you get that clean you know yeah. frame feeling without having to have an actual frame that you, you yeah. have to look through so um, but that one's got the specific baseball lens in it, so it's mm -hmm. the one you got too. Yeah. Made made for just kind of your sports yeah. in general. This how is how are here. they different? So this one is going to be you know specifically engineered on that on that green grass, your blue oh, sky, okay. and then that tan dirt kind of aquiline yeah. color, so that that white ball on top of it pops. It oh, just okay. Pop. So yeah, after it's a little bit brighter than your than the blue lens that you have on there. Yep. A little bit brighter, a little less. Yeah. Little, little darker. So, so what's the blue for? Just kind of just general sports. It's not okay. specific. It's yeah. just your. It also looks cool. Anything in all, right. It looks so, really cool. So you get some guys that they're like, ah, I want the baseball lens, but yeah. do you make it in blue? No. And is for baseball is that as good? Not quite, but boy, it's close. And, yep. it's, and it's it's still a great lens for all around you. So, uh, so yeah, that's kind of your, your difference there. Just count police for Tim Corbin. Where are you at? Where are you at? 123 pitches last night, and, and I'm kind of saying this sarcastic, sure, yeah. but where are you at?
hooked up my man Sean with his new uh, pole for the golf course. Now he's retired, so he's got to rep the rep the brand on the course. These galaxies are sweet. Do you do you ever get these in and it's like, cause I know they're a lot of work, yeah, a lot more than the other ones. So it's like. They're, they're good if there was like one of them. But if okay. Like, I had an order of like 13 or 16 of them. Mm -hmm. And I had to do them all at once. Oh wow. Brutal. Yeah. Jeez. So. so that was just a team order of everything? Yep. Wow. Which is great. It's good yeah. money, but man, good business, but be brutal. Yep. <laughs> and it was. How long does one take? About an hour and a half. Okay. So these are the hour and a half ones. And how much was like it was one pretty quick. Yeah. Five, five minutes maybe. Okay. Not yeah, bad. like the the blaze with two different colors uh -huh. take the longest just because I do the, I gotta do the blaze and then the color on top and then the color on the on the back. Right. So that's, that can take yeah. five ten minutes. So we, I I do mostly CNC work now. Uh, we'll do okay. custom models by hand first and then yeah. round up and put it in the machine. Yeah. So like if you ask for like a two seventy one, it's a machine. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's why I was like. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I just. You just can't keep up with it all by hand. Yeah, no, for sure. And then a lot of the designs are really just inspired from the customer, you know? Yeah. It's, they see if I can do it, and sometimes I can, sometimes I'm not that talented, you know, yeah. can't do it. Or, yeah. But, uh, no, it's, it's I good, mean, man. yeah, there's not much you can't do, though. I'm trying, you know? Yeah. I'm not super artistic, so it's difficult. Okay. You know, everything's a little bit of a struggle. Yeah. But How do you get something like like this in there? So it's uh, stenciled, airbrushed uh, and stenciled. Yeah. It's not like the, the shoe Amazing. guys do. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we're, nice. we're gonna be teaming up with Anthony Lucia. Uh -huh. Lucia he Parker. was here the other day, yeah. was he not? Yeah. 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 Cool. We'll be doing some more stuff with him. And yep. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. Talented kid for sure. For sure.
much, much, much later. Well, it's the final day here at the College World Series in Omaha. We went to the baseball village this morning after a quick breakfast, and unfortunately the Wilson store was like filming some content there, so we didn't actually get to buy anything. Overall, this trip has been fantastic. This has probably been one of the best trips of my life, and I'm super glad I got to document everything. Right now we're headed to the hotel, and then we're gonna get packed and go ahead and go to the airport, so I'll see you guys there. y'all we are finally back in Houston and I have to say that was probably one of the funnest trips I've ever been on overall everything was just incredible from being a baseball fan and we saw literally four games in practically two days uh, by the way we got to see every team in the tournament as well I got to see my favorite team in the tournament right now Texas they got a win over Tennessee that was really awesome to go to also as a fan of all the gear and everything going around the Omaha baseball village was an incredible experience I got to meet a lot of cool people from all the different brands as well as check out some of the new gear some of the stuff that's coming out next year and everything is just really awesome uh, I was pretty much in heaven there and getting the ability to film it all as well as get some really cool things was just an incredible experience I definitely want to try to go back as soon as possible Omaha is definitely a really cool place and a lot better weather than what we have here in Texas but with that being said I'm sure you guys are ready for me to get into it I'm gonna show you everything that I got in the baseball village and at my time in Omaha starting off with the first person Purchase was this A2000 hat that I got at the Wilson store. I have another one that's all black uh, with the same leather patch, except this one has the American flag inside of it. The other one just has a regular stamped A2000 logo, so I like that one a lot, especially with the white mesh on it. It's the only one with white mesh, and I like that. Another hat that I got, a little bit classier, uh, I might use this one as a golf hat, but it's an Evo Shield baseball hat. Really simple, um, but it pretty much matches everything, so I can wear this with almost any outfit. Another really cool hat that I got is this Baseballism Trucker hat with the beast on the front from the Sandlot. This one's kind of different from the other hats I got, but it's really fun and I thought it was kind of interesting and you kind of have to be a baseball fan or fan of the Sandlot to get the reference on the hat so I thought that one was pretty cool as well finally the last hat that I got was this Rawlings leather patch hat and I believe these were actually made for the Rawlings outlet stores and there's five of them the owners of the Orlando store were actually running the tent at Omaha and I got to meet them. They were really cool um, and I got to see a ton of cool gloves that they brought as well. I also really like the colors on this one with the khaki mesh and the brown uh, brim and front is really cool. And this is the last hat that I got. Um, I was just really low on hats because I keep wearing this one and, and all my videos and everything. So I decided to pick up as many as I could while I was there. Also another little thing at the Wilson store, they were giving me a bunch of stickers. So we have this Evo Shield one and we have a Demarini one here. Uh, a Louisville Slugger one. This one's kind of tiny. And then we got a couple of these Omaha Experience ones and some Wilson stickers as well. And right next to the Wilson store was the Baseball Lifestyle 101 shirt and I got this collared shirt from them. It's really simple, but I needed a good golf shirt to wear. Uh, now that I'm retired from baseball, I've been doing a lot of golfing and this is actually my first thing from Baseball Lifestyle. I really like all their clothes. Um, and I got to talk to Josh, he was really cool and he gave me some good advice. So I really appreciate uh, all the guys over at Baseball Lifestyle, they're really fun and a great store. The next shirt I got was another college shirt from the College World Series. I wanted to make sure I got something from the licensed store, uh, just to remember my time there and have something that actually said the College World Series. Just another really simple shirt, but one that I really liked, so I decided to pick it up. Last shirt that I got is this Evo Shield Omaha shirt. Uh, this was, I believe, the first shirt that I bought while, while I was there. Um, they ran out of mediums, but I think a small was actually the best fit for me. If you ever buy Evo Shield or Wilson gear, a lot of it tends to run big on me, so uh, you might just wanna either try stuff on if you can, or maybe go a size down if you ever order something. Finally, the best pickup I had of the week was a glove, and it's this Wilson A2000 catcher's mitt. This was actually a uh, Omaha exclusive from last year, and they just had a few of these left over. I also bought a camouflage catcher's mitt online. Um, I'll try to show you guys that, but it just kind of looks a little bit different in person uh, than online, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell that one. 
um, and I got this one instead, which I really like the colors on it. Um, I'm usually not a fan of uh, white leather on gloves, but this is actually super snakeskin. And basically, I was talking to one of the guys at Wilson, and the super snakeskin, because it is kind of confusing, it's a super skin material, um, and instead of imprinting those little dimples on there to make it look kind of like basketball leather, uh, they keep it flat, and then they print the snakeskin decal on top of it to make it that combination of super skin and snakeskin, and it cleans a lot better because it's not the real leather, and it's a synthetic material. If it gets dirty, uh, super skin is really easy to clean. You can pretty much clean dirt off with a paper towel and some water. And the other thing about this glove is that it has spin control in the palm, which is something I haven't had on a glove yet. So I'm super looking forward to trying that out. I'm going to take the tags off this pretty much as soon as I get done with this video. Try to start breaking it in. It's really hard to break in catcher's mitts. But I'm going to do my best and I figured I needed a new catcher's mitt because I don't have one in my collection and I used to be a catcher. So I feel like it's only right to finally get one. I'm going to also be posting some pictures of this on my Instagram. So if you guys want to check that out or any of the other stuff I got from Omaha, make sure you guys check out my Instagram because I will be posting some other stuff there. If you're not already following me, you can find my Instagram at Goat Gloves or follow the link in the description down below. And with that being said, that's going to be all for today's video. And I thank you guys so much for watching. This was an insanely fun video and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as possible. I really tried my best to capture everything in Omaha and give you guys the experience even if you're not able to go. If you want to check out some of my other content and keep up to date, make sure you guys subscribe down below. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.